Hey everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to show you how to make a faux fur pillow cover and give you my tips and tricks on sewing with faux fur. To start this project, cut a piece of backing fabric that's the same width as your pillow insert and about one inch higher. So for my backing fabric for my faux fur pillow, I've used a really nice faux suede and I'll link to the fabric that I used in the description box below. You could do faux fur on both sides, but I don't personally think that that's necessary. I like just using a smooth back and then having a fur finish on the front of my faux fur pillow. Next, you're going to measure and cut across the width of the backing where you want the zipper to go. So in my case, I want the zipper approximately three inches from the bottom of my pillow cover. Next, cut a square of faux fur that's the same dimensions as your pillow insert. The reason I make it the same di dimensions as my pillow insert is so that when I put my insert inside the pillow, the pillow insert remains nice and fluffy because my pillow cover is actually going to end up being about an inch um, shorter and an inch less wide because I have seam allowances. So I do like my pillow covers a little bit smaller than my insert so that it kind of gives my inserts that nice fluff. Here I'm using a hard ruler and I'm going to be using just some regular sewing shears to cut this fabric. So I just measure everything really well so I can make sure that my cutting is nice and square. When cutting faux fur fabric, make sure to only cut the backing of the fabric and not the faux fur itself. So my trick is I kind of just slide the tip of my scissors through the fabric like this to avoid cutting the actual fur and that gives the fur fabric a more natural look. So just like I'm doing here, slide the tip of your scissors through just the backing of the fabric and just carefully cut the backing only, being really careful not to cut the actual faux fur. What this does is leaves your cuts, your fur, nice and long so it doesn't look like it's been hacked off or trimmed off and it gives the pillow a more realistic fur look. So I'm just using regular fabric shears for this and you can see it gives the edges of my faux fur a really nice look. Place the pillow backing pieces right sides together like this, so the short one on top of the, of the tall one and then machine stitch only the first and last couple inches using a half inch seam allowance. This is going to kind of give you a spot for your zipper. Press that seam open and pin a zipper in place. So the zipper goes just like this face down onto that seam. So I'm putting the right side of the zipper against the wrong side of the fabric here and I'm just pinning it along my seam just like this. So I pin one side on one opened seam and the other side on the other opened seam and um, use as many pins as you want. Here I'm not using that many, but I would suggest using as many pins as you can to keep that zipper in place because sometimes zippers can be tricky when you're sewing them in. Next, you're gonna go to your sewing machine and sew in your zipper just like this. So one side and then the other. I'm using about a quarter inch to a three eighths of an inch allowance here on each side. You can use a zipper foot on your sewing machine so that when you're sewing, your zipper foot glides really nicely over the, over, over the zipper. I'm using a regular foot here um, just to save time and because I couldn't find my zipper foot for this and it worked okay. So I'm just sewing one side of the zipper in like this and then I'm going to sew the other side. Then place and pin the faux fur piece over the back piece right sides together. And the next trick here when you're sewing with faux fur fabric just like this is to make sure to tuck that fur inside the layers around the edge so that that faux fur doesn't get caught up in the seam when you're sewing. So just give it a little tuck, tuck it all in all the way around and pin as much as you need to. Next, you are going to sew the fur and the other layer together using a half inch seam allowance. And I like to use a really long stitch length for sewing faux fur fabric because because it's so thick. So on my sewing machine, that's number four. It might be different on yours. And that will just make your faux fur pillow cover a lot easier to sew with a longer stitch length. 
Next, clip the corners of the pillow cover close to the stitching. This makes your corners nice and crisp when you turn it right side out. And then you're going to turn your pillow cover right side out through that zipper and just push out those corners with your finger or you can even use the blunt end of a knitting needle just to make sure those corners are nice and crisp and square. And finally, you're going to take your pillow form and stuff it inside the pillow through the zipper opening. As you can see, my pillow is nice and poofy because the pillow cover is slightly, slightly smaller than my pillow form to give it that nice fluffy look. You might need to kind of pull out some of the fur when you're finished to give it a nice finished look. And that is it. Your beautiful faux fur pillow cover is all finished and you can add it to your winter and your early spring decor this year. I love the look of these. I will leave a link to my favorite faux fur fabric in the description box below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more DIY and decor ideas. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all again next time. Bye.